Hi, welcome to Encouragement for Today. I'm Pastor Emily. Today I've been thinking a lot about a passage from Jeremiah. The Israelites are going into exile in Babylon. And in this context that is overwhelming, God says the famous verse that you may know, uh, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. So God, he, he says, oh, you're, you're going to be in exile. Don't believe the prophets and those people trying to tell you that it's not going to happen. It is happening. You're going to be there for 70 years. Um, but I'm holding this big picture plan and working for your good. And within this passage, a little bit earlier, God says, Mary, be fruitful, create lives for yourselves, families, generations in Babylon, this foreign place of exile. And he even tells them, seek Babylon's good, pray for it, because in its welfare, you will find welfare. And I think this context has a lot of practical application in our lives because we may find ourselves in situations or moments that are not what we wanted. We may want a quick escape and don't see how. Um, we may want a situation to turn around quickly, but it's, it's going to take a lot of work and <laughs> it's not comfortable. So how do we respond in these not um, pleasant moments? It's easy to turn to resentment, but here God's invitation is, no, make a life in the midst of this not ideal. Um, don't resent your surroundings. Pray for them. Seek the good of your surroundings. Um, for it's, all, it's also benefiting you. Uh, it's creating a more hospitable environment. So it leads me to ask, are there things in my environment that I'm tempted to resent that it instead I might pray for and seek the good of? Uh, are there ways that I can trust God is holding a big picture and working for my good, whether it be through character development or... Um, uh, developing skills that I wouldn't learn if it was always easy. What might God be doing that's working for good in a bigger picture, <laughs> even in the midst of things that we might be tempted to resent? We'll talk to you again soon.